Well, COVID-19's Omicron variant seems to be everywhere, which has really increased the need for at-home testing. But those tests are harder to come by. And with that comes a strong warning from the FDA. Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowl joins us now. Dana, good morning. What are they saying? Well, first, let me tell you what I want to say here. I, I, I got to tell you, I cannot wait to get this out of my vocabulary. That would be COVID, pandemic, scammers. But today's not that day, unfortunately. The FDA has had to issue a very stern warning that scammers are taking advantage of this, the hard-to-find coronavirus at-home test kits. Of course they are. The FDA reports that it has been seeing unauthorized fraudulent test kits being sold online. The risk is... You use these and you get a false response potentially and you could spread the infection to vulnerable people or maybe put off getting emergency care yourself thinking you don't have COVID. The FDA has a list of approved test kits. I'm gonna provide that for you shortly so you can do some quick research before you buy. Scammers are getting a few things out of these long lines that they're seeing at these test sites. They know you are antsy. You want an at-home test kit, it's easier. They're gladly going to take your money for that. And while they're at it, what they're going to do is have you hand over personal identifying information that can be used to steal your identity. If you have an option to buy a test again, check the FDA's approved list. Also look for online reviews and scams associated with the name of the product you're going to consider. Go to the Better Business Bureau's site, <clears throat> excuse me, for a business review and score. And finally, you do want to pay with a credit card because then you can cancel that if you figure out what is going on. Insurance companies, as Beth Galvin, our uh, medical reporter, told us, um, we're, are going to reimburse your um, cost for these starting, <clears throat> excuse me, on Saturday. Um, so by Saturday, the insurance provider will be doing covering this. And that's for a family of four. That would be 32 kits a month. If you buy a fake one, though, you're on your own. Elise? Okay, so if you if you bought a kit, it was legit. You bought it, you know, just this week. Will that be covered? No. It will not. <laughs> you know, the, the five you have in the pantry right now, yeah. that came out of your own pocket. Okay. The one starting Saturday, your insurance provider should be reimbursing. Good to know and so important, like you mentioned, to make sure you're getting one of those yeah. legit ones, the real deal. The, All right. A, a good one, you. yeah.